Today on Fixing the Money Thing, from Sid Roth's It's Supernatural, Gary Cassie shares part of his amazing life story and how you too can get a revelation from God that can help you fix your money thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to Fixing the Money Thing. We're Gary and Drenda Cassie, and our favorite topic is your favorite topic, talking about your money. That's right. Recently, we had the opportunity to team up with Sid Roth and do an interview, and it was so powerful. We wanted to make sure we shared it with you today. Each week, Sid Roth investigates and reports on people who have experienced extraordinary healings, miracles, and personal encounters with God. So let's join Sid as he reveals God's hand in Gary's life and revelations that will help you fix your money thing. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, Gary Cassie, you look like a nice guy. How did you manage to get yourself in 100,000 plus worth of debt? It's not hard to do. <laughs> it took no talent? No. I think, All it took was plastic? I think it just takes a, a signature here and there and you can do it pretty fast. Now, uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, yeah. You didn't do too well in school. In fact, you almost <laughs> flunked out of high school. I had an attitude problem. I would turn the test <laughs> back into the teacher. When they brought the test to me, I just said I didn't want to take it. And I graduated at the uh, bottom of my class. I had a 1.3 average in high school, had no vision for my life. So I had some problems. Uh, you, you know, you brought something out that's kind of interesting yeah. to me. Most people are in a survival mode. I mean, we're supposed to have uh, an abundance, an abundant life. That's yeah. what we're promised in the Bible. Uh, and yet we're in a, a, a catch-up mode. And what you, what you point out is when people are in this survival mode, they can't even think of vision and, and no. expansion and excitement and, no. and fullness. <laughs> no, you know, the word provision... I always say provision is required for vision. You think of the word provision, provision is provision. Without provision, without substance, without uh, what you have need of, your number one goal each day is to find it. And that's what Jesus said when he said that the unbeliever or those without covenant have to run after the things of life every day. It becomes their number one priority. And that's how I started out. I was on commission sales and boy, every day if I was uh, with a client or if I was laying alone at, in my bed at night, uh, all I thought about was where's that next check going to come from? That's that survival that's, mentality. That's absolutely right. Let me, let me ask you, you're 100,000 dead. Uh, how's this affecting your health? Well, we are over $100,000 in debt. Um, as a father, I wasn't doing very well. As a husband, I wasn't doing very well. As a person, I wasn't doing very well because this fear, this anxiousness, was beginning to destroy me. In fact, it got so bad that I began to have panic attacks. In fact, one day I woke up, I was completely paralyzed. Uh, all my limbs were paralyzed, my face was paralyzed, my tongue was paralyzed. And uh, you know, at that point, I knew that I was in trouble. That's a pretty scary thing. That's, you must have really been afraid when that happened. You were afraid <laughs> before it happened, so what happened after? I was very much afraid. But the thing was, I was a, a Christian all that time. I led worship in my church. Uh, but there weren't answers for me. I, I couldn't figure out how to get this provision thing working. You know, Jesus said you can't serve two masters. Uh, you're going to serve the master who meets your needs, period. And that's, you know, you might say something else, but when it comes to decision time, you're going to follow the master you believe meets your needs. And in the church, I wasn't seeing the answers in the area of finances. You know, I went to church, but uh, I was kind of left alone. I had my Sunday hat, and then uh, I had okay, my weekly look, hat. Look, look, yeah. look, we know all about that 100000 plus yeah. in debt, yeah. but didn't you go to a doctor? What did the doctor say about they your They couldn't condition? find anything wrong with me. So they must have said mental. Well, they, they put me on drugs. 
they tried to put me on drugs. So you, uh, you traded one group of symptoms for another group of symptoms. I had reactions to the drugs. There was times they carried me out of church where I couldn't even move at all. I was paralyzed. And uh, the doctors couldn't find anything wrong with me. And it was at that time that I realized I had to go to the Lord with those questions and began to ask him about the questions I had about life. You, you ended up at a Benny Hinn meeting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why'd you go? Well, of course, Benny Hinn's known for healing, and uh, it was at ORU. The conference was at ORU, my, my school I'd gone to. So we went, and uh, as I sat there in the audience, the anointing of God came over me. And uh, I went up front, and there, you know, they usually say, this gentleman had this disease, this person has this problem, but Benny didn't say that. He looked me right in the eye and said, who are you? What are you supposed to do? And I thought, that's strange. But uh, it, it had a lot to do with my destiny and about my he, call. He had an insight, but uh, what about your, I'll tell you what, hold that thought. We'll find out what happened to this thing that was totally, uh, yeah. I mean, he couldn't function at all physically in that debt. I imagine what, what strain was going on in his marriage, but there was a supernatural answer. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Contact Gary, archive Fixing the Money Thing shows, learning resources, and more at GaryCasey.com. When you need God's help, prayer is always the answer. Pastor Gary understands and wants to help. That's why he has caring friends standing by, ready to pray with you. No matter what you're facing, there is hope. Call and let's agree together. Caring prayer partners are available faithfully Monday through Friday from 9 to 6.30. You can also leave your prayer request at GaryCasey.com. Just click and know someone will be agreeing with you in prayer for your need to be met. Call or log on today. And now, from the Faith Life Now studio, Gary and Drenda Casey. I know you're enjoying this teaching. I know you're enjoying the Sid Roth interview. Uh, Gary, I have a couple of email here. All right, good. All right, here's Sue from Boise, Idaho. Oh, yes, and yes. she says, I've listened to the Now Revolution 2.0 for many months, many, many, many times. Yay, Sue. I know that you. I need to change my heart yeah. and have been diligently working in that area. You keep at it, Sue. That makes all the difference yes. in the world. Here I have also Angela from Australia. She says, hi, Gary. I've been listening to your CDs, The Now Revolution and others. It's been so helpful to me. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening, Angela. Yes. It'll change your life. Yes, and that's what we're talking about today is the kingdom, how it changed our lives. That's some of the information we're offering today is the Now Revolution. So I'm excited about hearing the rest of the story. We'll be there with you in a minute with Sid. Hello, Sid Roth here with Gary Cassie. Hell on earth. Is that a good description of what your <laughs> life was like? That's that's putting it bluntly, yes. That's exactly how it was. Okay, so you go to this Benny Hinn. He yeah. puts his hands on you. He doesn't do anything about your sickness nope. that it's really causing, in addition to the debt, the, the sickness. You can't, you can't even work, I imagine. No, I was paralyzed with fear, panic attacks. Uh, it, it, the Bible says that fear is torment, and it was torment. And so the anointing of God came so strong on me that I fell. Uh, under the power of God, they carried me off the platform, drew, uh, laid me across a couple chairs. My wife came up and uh, laid her hand on me. The power of God was so strong, she fell out in the spirit, fell over. And uh, I thought, surely this anointing is so strong, I'm, I'm healed. But I got up a uh, half hour later and the symptoms, I could still feel the symptoms, which confused me. And not only confused you, you probably, if you were low, you went a little lower. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't really know how faith operated or the kingdom operated yet. So I, I went to bed that night, the Spirit of God was all around me. And in the, in the night I had a dream, and in the dream was the verse given to me, Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, when you pray, believe that you receive, and you shall have it. I didn't know where it was at. I asked my wife, I said, these words came to me in a dream. Uh, do they mean anything to you? And although I was a Christian in a church, I couldn't quite place them. And my wife said, well, well Gary, that's, that's Mark eleven twenty four. And then I got it. See, I was, I was believing God to heal me, and every time I would believe the word, I'd check myself, you know, am I healed? Mm -hmm. And the Lord was telling me, no, you're healed by faith because I said you're healed, not because the symptoms are there or not there. And when I got that, when I figured it out, that's what the dream was telling me. I knew that I was healed. A hundred thousand plus dollars in debt. Yeah. Now you're physically healed. Well, well I went down to uh, 
let me finish the story on that just so you get what happened. When I realized that that dream had come to me, if I ever ate sugar or anything with sugar, it would throw me almost into a coma. My body would just, it was so out of whack with sugar and my whole metabolism. Uh, there was a root beer stand on the street we'd gone to when I was in college in Tulsa. So I told my wife, I said, we're going down to that root beer stand and we're going to have us some root beer. And we went down there. Wait, wait a second. How'd yeah. your wife react to that? Well, she was cheering me on. She it was does, saying. She knew what would happen to she, you. You yeah. knew what would happen to you. But you were so sure that the Bible was true. That's right. And she was agreeing with me. She said, well, I, she said, I agree. You're healed. And so we went down there and I had one of those big frosted mugs of root beer, you know. And root beer is pretty syrupy. It can be pretty sweet. If you weren't healed, what would have happened? I would have begun to shake. I would have began to lose energy and go into a panic attack and, and pretty much become useless. It and could be pretty scary. So you had this glass of root beer. What yeah. happened? I had two. You had another one. Then what happened? <laughs> I, I, was, I was happy and fine. It never came back. I was completely healed from that day on. Well, what happened with that debt? Well, I figured and began to listen to the kingdom of God, that the kingdom of God that brought forth that healing obviously would affect every other area of my life. And so God gave me some insight and a debt and finances and gave me a business idea, which I started, and began to pay the debt off. And he led my you know, direction in life and paid everything off in two and a half years, then saved 100000 That's 000. not so easy. You're, you're, uh, you were in commission sales. Commission sales. Uh, and you paid, a, you, 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 it costs money to live. You yeah. have a family. Yeah. And you paid off 100000 in debt. I had 10 maxed out credit cards, three finance company loans at 28%, back taxes of 14000 owed relatives 26000 had judgments and liens, two car payments, mortgages, et cetera, et cetera. I paid it all off in L two and a half listen, years. Listen, you, uh, you, you were a church member. Mm -hmm. You believed in God. You're born again. Yeah. You, you know how to give money to godly things. You understood yeah. all these principles. Uh, what's the difference? <laughs> There's a big difference. You see, when man was created, he was created with God supplying everything he had need of. And then when man sinned, he lost the relationship with God, and he also lost the provision of God. Well. It was said there in the Bible that when Adam sinned, that he would now have to find his own way through life, find his own provision with the sweat of his own brow and with painful toil. Now, we've all been raised under, under that system. If I told you to make money or get out of debt, your first inclination would be to run faster. And what Jesus did, he's restored back to us covenant. Actually, it happened in the Old Testament. Abraham stepped into that covenant, which overrode the earth curse system and allowed the blessing of God to allow the, the, the finances and the wisdom and the insight to take over that system. Okay, you're, you're now out of debt, mm -hmm. but you're still in a survival mode. Are you able to get ahead? Once oh, yeah. you're out of, Once what, we what paid happened? all the debt off, then we started saving hundreds of thousands of dollars, began to pay cash. H hundreds of thousands? That's right. You're the guy that uh, yeah. lived on credit cards. Yeah, that's right. We lived on credit cards. I mean, if we had to buy something, we would check it against our available credit if we had any cards left. But we began to pay cash for our cars, cash for our land, had the same job. Now, Sid, the same job, same occupation, began to pay cash for everything, and then God gave me a dream in the night that he wanted me to help people understand finances and help them get out of debt. And now we have four companies that produce millions of dollars a year in revenues. So, so what do you do? Tell people how to buy uh, houses cheap and do infomercials? What, <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> well, the natural side, of course, is part of winning in life. But the key part is helping them understand the kingdom of God. You see, when Jesus uh, was asked by Peter when he had taxes to pay, he said, go catch a fish with a gold coin in its mouth. He did not say, go get a job. You see, this, the laboring system that we are accustomed to tapping into completely on our own accord by our own painful toil and our own labor is limited. You can only run so fast. But Jesus tapped into the supernatural revelation of where the money was at. And so by having the Spirit of God on our side and being in union with God, He can help us with creative ideas, business ideas. He can show us where the money's at. He can help us create wealth. Usually. He can give us a vision rather than this survival mode. We'll be back in a moment, but Gary is a hunter, and oh, yeah. God taught him supernaturally from his hunting experience. Applies to marriage, applies to finances, vision, everything. Be right back after this word.
More from America's financial coach, Gary Cassie, in a moment. This week from Fixing the Money Thing, for only $30, resources sure to increase your faith and revolutionize your life through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. For many years, Gary's love for hunting earned him nothing but frustration and disappointment until he discovered the principles of faith that changed his life forever. The Lord spoke to me one day and said, why don't you trust me for your deer this year? You'll enjoy Gary's hunting stories and the principles of faith he's learned that has given him 100% success in the hunt since applying these truths from God's Word. For the hunter and non-hunter alike, this book reveals principles of faith you need to change your life and finances forever. The Holy Spirit is our teacher and uh, you know he is teaching me how the kingdom of God operates. Call, write, or go to GaryCassie.com to order. Are you tired of waiting for your life to change? Then it's time to change the way you think. Jesus said, the same things that you see me do, you will do. In the Now Revolution 2.0, Gary's five CDs use scriptures, stories, humor, and personal experiences to teach you the principles of the kingdom of God that will revolutionize your life now. These great resources are yours when you support Faith Life Ministries with $30 or more today. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCassie.com or write to Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. And get Faith Hunt and the Now Revolution 2.0. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and his approach makes fixing your money thing easy. We now return to Gary Cassie as Sid Roth's guest and discover more of the principles of God's kingdom on Fixing the Money Thing. Hello, Sid Roth here with Gary Cassie. And, and I told you we were going to be talking about hunting. What did you learn from hunting? Well, where I live in Ohio, there's, there's deer, and uh, my family likes to eat the venison. And for years, I'd go hunting and not, not get the deer. And uh, before this process all started, the Lord spoke to me one day and said, why don't you trust me for your deer this year, which is a revelation to me. I, how is God going to help me with a deer? And secondly, I didn't know God was interested in things like that, you know. So I began to, to pray about it, and He showed me how to release faith for the deer. And I began to get my deer every year within 40 minutes, every time I went out. And then I'm, I, I'm not a hunter, but that sounds that's pretty, pretty quick. Phenomenal yeah, that's pretty to me. That's pretty fast. Every year without exception for the last 18 years that's happened. Hmm. And then it got so specific I could actually ask for what type of deer would come. And if it was a buck or a doe, it's a different type of deer, you know, it would come. And in fact, one day I was up, I was hunting and this buck was across the, the field and the Lord said, tell it to come to you in Jesus name. Now, remember, I had no teaching like this. The Holy Spirit is our teacher and, uh, you know, he was teaching me how the kingdom of God operates. I said, Lord, speak to the deer, tell the deer to come to me. And uh, so I just did that. I said, dear, you come to me in the name of Jesus and stand right next to me. I figured if I would use faith, I might as well just bring it close, sure. you know. <laughs> and that deer stopped. It was 200 yards away, he turned around, walked right up to me. And I, of course, I got the deer. And I practiced that several more times through the years, uh, the same principles. But the kingdom of God operates by law, just like electricity, just like gravity. Those laws are set. The kingdom of God operates with set law that is not violated. And Jesus was always illustrating the kingdom so that we'd understand how this invisible kingdom operated so that we have the same results that he did. It wasn't that Jesus was there. You know, people have the misconception, well, if Jesus was here, he could help me. Mm -hmm. Well, the point is, he is here. We're the body of Christ. But the same laws that he used, we can use if we understand them. And you see, when Adam was in the garden, when he was created, he had all of his provision. So he had no fear, and he had an assignment. He was to take care of, of daddy's stuff, the garden. When he lost his provision, or lost the relationship with father, he lost not only his provision, which now he had to run after, mm -hmm. he lost his assignment, or his purpose, his spiritual DNA. And so we have people in life running with the weight of finding provision every day. Everything's filtered through this earth curse system that I've got to find money. In fact, that's the whole power behind the lottery, and. If I want to become a millionaire, we're all tired of running after provision. If we can just get enough money, you see, then we can rest. And so, the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God, and most people interpret that meaning doing religious things. That's not what it means. Jesus was teaching about worry, the kingdom you and I grew up in, 
and Father's house where he's going to meet all of our needs. So it's kind yeah. of changing kingdoms. It's absolutely, it's changing kingdoms. And it's changing your reliance on the kingdom you grew up in, the earth curse system, and tapping into the supernatural system of God's kingdom. Okay, I'm not a hunter. Mm -hmm. I could care less about having a deer come yeah. up to me to shoot. Yeah. But how, what, how could this help me understanding these well, principles? I figured if, if the system worked and brought the deer in, it would bring money in. In other words, the kingdom has promised that it meet all of my needs according to the inheritance that I have in Christ. But most people try to ask God to help them run faster instead of tapping into the supernatural revelation of how to go about it. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? They'll say, they'll grit their teeth and say, God, give us the strength to run fast. They're, they're so busy working and running fast right. that they're missing the supernatural. They're missing the revelation in them. The kingdom of God is in them. It's not outside. Mm -hmm. And most of us are looking outside for answers when we should be listening on the inside for answers, revelation, creative ideas. We are creating wealth. Now, most of us look for wealth, but actually a creative idea produces by creating wealth. And so as believers, we have the very mind of Christ. We have the thoughts of God in us. And God gave me a dream to start a business. Well, that business now produces millions of dollars of revenue. I never thought of that business. I wasn't smart enough to do that, you know. And so by tapping into the kingdom of God, we can find our spiritual DNA, our purpose. Instead of filtering everything through life about where I can find provision, I'll move across the country, I'll get a new job, everything's weighed against this running after money, I can find my place, what God created me to, to work in, how he created me to operate by tapping into provision. I always say, if you don't get the money thing fixed, you'll not be fixed. Now, let me ask you something. Stress is the number one thing doctors That's say. Right. Worry. That's and right. And the Bible yeah. tells us not to worry. I'm, I, I'm reminded of this college student that has a hundred thousand plus dollars in debt that yeah. is uh, so paralyzed that he doesn't even want to live. His face is mm -hmm. everything is, uh, the doctors don't know what to do about him. And now here where you are today, uh, make a million dollar type of business. Yeah. Uh, how much uh, uh, stress do you have? <laughs> I, well, there's stress. It's a different kind of stress because what we do is we gather. When we're on assignment, we gather, which does take labor. In other words, when Peter had direction about where the gold coin was, he had to go catch it. He had to gather it, but he didn't lose sight of his assignment. He didn't leave his assignment, his purpose, to go find money. And, and Jesus said life is more important than clothes, houses. All these things are to serve our purpose. But what we do is we run after them. They become our purpose, and we begin to serve the lesser. And so what we've got to do is understand how the kingdom of God operates. So what I try to do is help people understand the kingdom laws, the principles that right, govern this, it. This, these laws operate for you. Will they operate Everyone. for anyone? Anyone. Everyone. Every what about single people person. that say, well, I tried it and it didn't work? It worked. It works. All right, listen, do you want to be in survival mode? No. Or do you want to be in vision and in insight and in intimacy with God? in rest. There is only one rest that you can have. Mm -hmm. There is only one Shabbat rest that you can have. There is only one way to have peace, and that is to be yes. translated from the kingdom of darkness yes. to the kingdom of the Son of His love. And the way that you are translated is to have the spiritual scales come off of your eyes. And the only way to have the spiritual scales come off of your eyes is to Believe that God so loved you, He sent His only Son to earth who died and rose from the dead. And by His suffering and blood and carrying all of your weight, all of your sins, all of your sicknesses, all of your sicknesses evil, believe that He carried it. And when you believe that, you make Him your Lord and Messiah. And have a little Shabbat Shalom, a little bit of Shabbat rest. More from America's financial coach, Gary Cassie, in a moment. This week from Fixing the Money Thing, for only $30, resources sure to increase your faith and revolutionize your life through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. For many years, Gary's love for hunting earned him nothing but frustration and disappointment until he discovered the principles of faith that changed his life forever. The Lord spoke to me one day and said, 
why don't you trust me for your deer this year? You'll enjoy Gary's hunting stories and the principles of faith he's learned that has given him 100% success in the hunt since applying these truths from God's Word. For the hunter and non-hunter alike, this book reveals principles of faith you need to change your life and finances forever. The Holy Spirit is our teacher, and uh, you know He is teaching me how the kingdom of God operates. Call, write, or go to GaryCassie.com to order. Are you tired of waiting for your life to change? Then it's time to change the way you think. Jesus said, the same things that you see me do, you will do. In the Now Revolution 2.0, Gary's five CDs use scriptures, stories, humor, and personal experiences to teach you the principles of the kingdom of God that will revolutionize your life now. These great resources are yours when you support Faith Life Ministries with $30 or more today. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCassie.com or write to Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054, and get Faith Hunt and the Now Revolution 2.0. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and his approach makes fixing your money thing easy. That was an amazing story, awesome. And you can have the same story. It's all out of the Word of God, and God is no respecter of persons. I want to remind you to get the material. You've got to change your mindset. Yes. We want to thank you again for joining us on Fixing the Money Thing. Go to our website at GaryXC.com. Get the information. You call the number at the bottom of the screen. We look forward to seeing you next time right here on Fixing the Money Thing. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. I'm standing here with April Osteen Simons, and we are going to be having a great time at the So Get This Women's Conference coming up in October. April is my special guest, and I'm excited about you being there, April. I'm excited, and I can't wait to see you there. The 2012 So Get This Women's Conference. Come experience God and go home refreshed. For more information and registration, visit SoGetThisConference.com. Want to know more? Read and comment on Gary's blog. Partner with Faith Life Now. Send us your prayer requests. Order more life-changing resources. All these things and more are waiting for you at GaryCassie.com. Join Pastor Gary Cassie in your area and experience firsthand how following kingdom principles can help you achieve your destiny. Come see Pastor Gary and see what God has in store for you. For more information, visit GaryCassie.com. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more, more impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton, off of 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center, which services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. Thank you for your faithful prayers and generous support of this worldwide ministry. Fixing the Money Thing is a presentation of Faith Life Now.